told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away What's going on, everybody? Just got in from the J and J All Star Show. Actually, probably a couple hours ago, about three. But I had to run, get stuff from Lowe's, get stuff put down here. Ah, been a crazy day. Picked up a lot from the J and J All Star Show. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six deals. Six different deals. Uh, I want to say one, two, one. Two, I think three I've done deals with in the past. Yeah, just three. So, you guys ready to see? I got all sports to include soccer, not to include hockey. Sorry, guys. There was like three hockey cards out there, and I really want a Brandon Point Auto. All right, let's start our first deal. A little bit of vintage. I had him throw this in. This here is Irving, Jones, and Cheeks. Look pretty good. Uh, eventually, it'll go off the PSA land. This is the 80, 80, or 81, 82 tops, I believe. Yeah, 81, 82 tops. But was it a bad condition? Figured, hey, might get a solid six on to it. Run some special down the road. No problem. The reason I throw them in is because of this here. Private signings from Panini. Christian McCaffrey. Now, the case is scuffed up. I haven't changed any of these out because I haven't looked at them for grading other than me looking at it to show real quick, but out of 25. What I found was a Panini VIP uh, 25 did 165. So, just so you guys know where I'm at, where I found on prices. Look it over. Probably go off to grading land here in my next batch order. Now, last time I was saying they're going to go off grading, I don't know how much I'm going to send off because I got a show on a third. And I may need some stuff to fill it with. So, with that being said, what I do is when I go to shows, I know that those cards are going to go out to grading land and they'll do well. I just don't really budge my price much. Anybody knows me from the shows knows that Maxi Auto PSA 10, Sangoon PSA 10. So, craziness on to it. So, this here, uh, Rob, buddy of mine from out of the shows, picked this up. Larry Bird, he bought this on eBay and sold it to me what he picked it up for. Crazy what he picked it up for. The only thing I could find on to show was right up in here. There's just a little, little mark up on top there. I don't know if I could show it with a sleeve or not. But we're going to set it off be great. It's out of 25 It should not be doing $140. <laughs> I 
a Larry Bird auto on a prism should not be doing $140 for all. He got that in a steal in a big lot on eBay, though, I know. Anthony Davis was looking. He had two of his flawless autos. I'm not too sure if that's going to be in the video or not. But this is out of uh, Crusade. I figure this will be one to go out to Graden Land as well, too. Um, just trying to get some fresh stuff to be graded uh, out there coming up. Next to uh, you guys, remember I bought from this guy before. Picked up two cards from him. First one's Brock Purdy. And what was crazy, see these little glare marks on to the card up here by his head? I thought they were all like divots and chips. I had to look online. Those are actually part of the card. Never knew that. This is out of 199. I know Purdy will not be playing this year. Um, even there's been a couple guys that are surgeons out there to collect baseball cards and do this kind of stuff onto the surgeries. They don't see him coming back maybe for the last game of the season, but it's a long road out there. Missed picking this up last time, but I picked up this time John Stockton. This is Illusions out of 5 Auto. Really, really nice piece. But pick both of these up at a very, very good price out there. Always appreciate everybody working with me. Leave me some room with grading land and hoping in we do well on grading. Let's move on to the next stack. Football! I know. Where's all the football? So, originally we started off... Let me go and order how, what happened. I wanted to buy this card. It's still in case. Yes, it's all scratched up. Dak Prescott, this is a redemption out of 25. I did notice a little bit of whiting at the bottom down here onto it. But these things here, like Beckettland 9.5s, do real well. So I figured get PSA 9. It's going to do really well. Uh... I figured raw on these were, I think, like 150 to 200. I can't remember offhand, but it's out of 25. So this is from the rookie year, 2016. So I figured, what the heck, let's grab a little DAC. Well, we couldn't agree on price of that, so then I threw this in. We were close. It's another DAC out of Illusions. This should be, I think, 2017. Yeah, 2017, numbered out of 15. We're getting closer. Finally, I found this. Tony Pollard. Rookie auto from Encased out of 50. What I found on this was about 150 I found in value. So I was like, all right, now we make sense with the deal. So we had to go a little bit larger, but nice little cowboy lot. We'll see what goes off to be graded out of this. I'm not too sure offhand, like I said. Next to, this is actually was the last pickup of the day. I was just walking out. I wasn't really going to get anything else, but I found this. Man, this guy here. We're going to nickname him the LeBron Killer. Because I'll tell you what, they're taking it to the Lakers right now. Jokic out of 35 out of Panini 1. This has that nice, cool, uh, flashy background. So we'll leave it case by Panini 1. It's not going to go anywhere. But I uh, found the last sale. I was looking at like 365 on this, but this was before they started going crazy. So probably going up in value. Had him throw this in, Josh Giddy. We've seen sales of this at 280. There was one at 190. Um, a lot of guys, I'm going to tell you, you need to use Terapeak to make sure them cards are being paid for. But pick this up. Kind of moving into the off season, Giddy. Um, probably going to, you know, look at and see where I want to be at. It might be something I hold to next season, actually, if I don't get what I'm looking for on it. All right, big lot time, big lot. You guys always get to see the big lot. You guys probably see me flipping through a lot of it. So, let's start it off. I always enjoy going through this gentleman's cards. He always brings fresh stuff. Bill Walton auto. Everybody know Bill Walton? Look at that. Grizzly band right there. Arr. Not Grizzly Adams, but just a Grizzly man. Alright. So, pretty cool. This is numbered out of 25. They, they go for like 10, 15 bucks. It's nothing crazy. Little Johnny Bench bat jersey action out of 49 iMac. Never could really pass up some of the uh, Hall of Famers. This here, I know Cora's probably going to be able to tell me more on to it. I think I found these at like 40 50 bucks, but it's a color blast. Yeah, I'm not even going to try it. Gundagan from Germany. Does, does that sound right? Gundagan. He eats his bratwurst from what I understand. But, no idea. I'm going to look it over maybe grade it. Hmm. A little Holio Tops Holiday Relic. Pretty sure it's Hops Holiday. 
Yep, Tops Walmart Holiday Mega. These are all inexpensive stuff that I always pick up from him. Another DeAndre Swift. That's out of 100 from 2022. Obsidian. Firemuth, Rookie. Ink Blots. You know what? I couldn't figure out where this was serial number. It's right here. 10 of 10. Spectra, Carl Anthony Towns. This is the gold out of 10. Say 21-22. Yeah, 21-22. A little bit of whiting on the back. We might shoot it in for a little grading. Make people remember this guy, Joe Carter for the Blue Jays. Found this. It's out of Prestine. Toss Prestine. That was pretty cool. Had to pick it up with a nice chunk of bat in there. And that's the new stuff, 2022. Derek Carr. He's got a new home this year, two color patch, but this was out of 10, too. Out of 10. All right, last two cards. I know you guys are like, holy crap, how much did he buy? Mason Mount Auto out of 99, Tops Inception. I knew the name. He's got a good price. And finally, this was the big boy here. I know, John Morant, bang bang, likes to play with guns. I still don't think the second video is as bad as the first one. I mean, literally, it's really not that bad. He could have been holding somebody's gun in the car on his lap. I don't know. I still think this guy can play basketball if he can control his, I don't know, gun tendencies, I guess is the way of saying it. But this is the purple. This is from the rookie year. Last sold after his second gun incident at $1,000. Got a good deal on this. So, overall, very, very happy with what I picked up today. A lot of stuff for grading. Still got to look at it. it. Was really really busy. I got there about eight thirty. I think I left there right around ten thirty. If dealers were late setting up, I just pushed on through. It's the reason why he lets people in at the time he does. Get there early, get set up. Uh, I can look through your stuff. Um, let me think here. Any trends? Not really. I will say a lot of dealers are willing to do bigger deals and give you a good percentage off. Um, a lot of the same stuff at the tables, like I always say, all that, you know, base, graded base, graded silver refractors, graded whatever high pop cards out there. Um, there's just a lot of Cincinnati Red stuff out here just because we're close to it. Uh, it's trying to think here. There's a couple of tables that had some nice stuff too. One was way, way overpriced. When I asked just about two cards, I was like, no, not even going to play. And just move on. Like I said, guys, you're not always going to go out and find great steals of deals. Um, I'd probably say average, maybe 20, 25% off on a lot of this stuff. People are looking to sell, move stuff so they can have money for the summer right now. And hey, I need fresh inventory. I can't complain at all. But other than that, good show uh, was produced out there. And if you guys are going to the Monster, I talked to the guy who runs it up there. If you're looking to buy the VIP passes, you don't have to go through the secondary website to buy them. He said they'll be up there. There's an infinite amount to come in early. It's $25 for both days. You just get a bracelet and you can come in an hour early. So it's 11 a.m. early entrance on Friday and 9 a.m. early on Saturday. Going to be better both days. We're going to go to the trade night he told me about. I just have to get the directions to it where he was telling me it was, a, I think, the Hilton Garden Inn down the road, he said from me. So probably go down trade night, bring some cards down to that. That's always good. Good, good, good. Um, other than that, pretty much it. Back with some crazy videos later this week. Appreciate you guys sticking with me this long for a big, big haul in today. Other than that, I'm out. You guys stay safe out there.